Chief, do you think you would have been, uh, you agree, did you agree with uh, all the stuff Dr. King was talking about, the nonviolence, or, or, or were you, you have different beliefs from him? You heard a lot of him talking. Huh? I, 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 I had different beliefs, but I must admit, my belief would not have accomplished what his, what his nonviolence accomplished. Mm -hmm. Because I, 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 at that time, I was young and I believed in eye for an eye. And if, it would not have accomplished what we had, you see, because we could not have got the sympathy with all the people all over the world. And uh, we fought back when we got our revenge. You know? But when you had the nonviolence, I think that was the best approach to it, even though I didn't agree with it all the time at that time. But now that I'm old, I understand it. That was the best approach, I think. Who else you think around that time was making it? Did you admire any of those other people? Oh yeah, I, I, I admire, I admire all the white people who came down to help us. The one they had killed in, in Mississippi, Cheney, and all those boys, and, and uh, you had to admire those people. Those people gave their life for, and they didn't, and most of these people were prominent rich people that came down. It wasn't no vagabond that came down, you know, and families of prominent people and everything, and they came down to help, and without them, the cause would not have been successful. If you look out there and see a thousand blacks, you just a thousand blacks, if you look out there and see a thousand blacks and whites, you gotta respect these whites because they're white like you, regardless of what you believe in, you understand? Know and they help, they help push the cause. You see people like uh, Elvis Presley, I always liked Elvis Presley. I liked his music, but Elvis Presley and the Beatles, and those, they pushed integration. People don't even seem to think about it, but Elvis Presley had black in his band. Ninety percent of Elvis Presley's music was black music. He took it and made money off of it and made it turn it all of, You listen, Hound Dog was number one record he made. Big Mabel made Hound Dog, singing all her life, made $20. Elvis Presley worked out with millions of dollars off of him. You ain't nothing but a Hound Dog. He pushed the integration. He had integration in his band. He had integration when he went to hotel. All these black people used to they could sing and play for him, but they couldn't stay in the hotels. They had to go stay and find somewhere to stay. They couldn't even. But these white group, when you when you had like Motown start playing for white groups, and that's what made integration. These white youngsters start dancing in black music. Then they start dancing with the blacks and start following the blacks. That was it. You know, lost control. The old black people sit, white people sit there and say no. But the young man, they weren't worried about that. They just wanted the music, the good time. They didn't care who they had it with. Understand? And these people, these people did as much for integration almost as King did. They pushed integration. Because if they'd have been sitting, if Elvis had been singing all white song and preaching against, it for, against uh, integration, it'd have been dead. You take like, uh, what's his name? I, I can't think. Uh, uh, this man thing, uh, 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 man, sexual feeling, Marvin Gaye, he bought all the number of music about the time. And, uh, Johnny B. Good, man, he bought out the music about the time. These people sat down and sung music. The Beatles bought out music about the time, the changes and everything. And it's affected people's lives. Not only did they dance, they had to listen to what they were trying to say. They had to listen to it. And then they did all these things were put into integration wasn't just only getting on the street and marching and getting beat. I mean, the people that were sitting in the background writing and passing decisions in the court and the courts and everything and the music, the sports had brought integration together. I remember when I remember when I was in Alabama, it was it was segregated and, and the UCLA came down to play Bear Bryant. And this one fellow ran five touchdowns. Guess where he was from? Alabama. Brian said, I'll never let another one leave out of Alabama and come back and beat me as long as I'm here. The next week they had television, said all blacks say, Can you kick? He said, Yeah. Or kick the ball out of the table, said, Can you kick? Can you run? He said, Get that Indian in uniform. He's on my head. Get that Indian in uniform. He's on my team now. But Brian said, You ain't let all the black talent go out of Alabama and come back and beat him. He started integrating them too. I mean, that's the kind of people that you say, they, 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 they saw the hand right on the wall. And man come back and beat me in my hometown, and he from my hometown. He never should have left here, he said. He said, and then these things brought a lot, a lot about integration. But I mean, these people pay the price for it. And that's what these youngsters don't seem to understand, you know, that what they're doing now in the schools and the thing they're doing now, they just didn't give it to them on a platter, no. People had to suffer, and some even died to get these things for them, but they won't 
they want to accept them and, and, and try and improve on them because they think life is a bowl of jelly. But life isn't a bowl of jelly. You got to fight for some of the things you got to get in what you in what you believe in. You know what I'm saying? But I tell you, when you talk about the music, <laughs> uh, when music come up, we used to play uh, and Fat Domino. I know Fat real well. Fat first started out there back on Desire Street back there. We used to pay thirty five cents to go here. Fat take. A fat man, a fat man, all ball fat with the big time. Now you can't pay twenty five dollars to go see fat for nothing. One thing about fat though, he never long forgot where he came from. He built that house in the night ward, and he still lived down there. Fat could have been living in what's this place up there? All the rich people see? Up there in the east side, east over, left over, to and the fat said, "No, sir, I was born and raised in the night ward. He's from me. This is where I'm gonna be." And he's still out there, and. Oh, some of the best musicians you had in the city started right here, and we used to go see them all for a quarter, 35 cents, and, but there's still, it was a place called a Dewdrop. I told them before you all come in. That's where all the black musicians, Ray Charles, Pat Domino, and all, you come in, they all used to play right there. It's just, when you go play for the whites, and at nighttime, they come in and jab there, you see, when they get penny, and, and the Dewdrop had a hotel too, they all used to live there and everything, and that's where, uh, Little Richards and the Beatles, the Beatles all came down here, but they couldn't take they couldn't take these bikes on they pick them on the stadium, but they couldn't go sleeping in that thing with them. So after that, they'd all meet up at the Dew Drop and they'd play all night, all night. You no, know, each one getting on the stage and doing and doing their thing. But we've had some good good musicians that come here and uh, they made they made their market and they did they, 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 they're sharing integration too. A lot of people may not believe it. But they did their share and, and, and push it integration to let it go down like where some of them are doing it now, not trying to uh, not trying to uphold it and everything. Like that. What do you think Jackie Robinson went to when he first went to play baseball? I think he used to call him all kind of names and throw black cats and things. Now he had to concentrate on that and play baseball. You know what I'm saying? Let's show you how he was, he was able to do it. He was able to do it. But now these Bobby Bonds and all that, I love him. That's my I'm hoping they win the series. But they got it made now compared to that here. They've been accepted, you understand? They, they, all they got to do is play baseball. He had to play baseball and watch out nobody don't shoot him in the stands and, and call him all kinds of different things. But he made, it, he made it so that they could get to where they are right now. And that's what they got to remember and trying to, and trying to appreciate that, see.